Good afternoon, I'm Haskar Das. I'm group CEO of Azure Media Corporation. I feel news has moved into a real-time space. To that extent, it's a very positive movement. Second thing that has happened is the news definition is changing. What I consider as news may not be considered news by you. Thirdly, news treatment is changing because people are not interested in just mere updation because it's just a click away. People want upgradation, which means migrating from what happened now to what now. How do I navigate my new circumstances of life post this news? Third thing that is happening is that new source. So it is no longer the media owner's monopoly to generate news. It's generated by consumer themselves. And finally, distribution has gone out of control of the media companies in a classical way, well, from a classical way, is that today platforms are becoming more purveyors of news, like so by Facebook, whether it's a Twitter, whether it's Google, and the interactions that take place, which generates further news. And I think all these four points contributing significantly to news becoming uh, a ubiquitous, uh, are creating an ubiquitous impact on consumer behavior and culture. Uh, so do you think then that it is a good time to be in the news business? See, one, so long we are talking about news, now we are talking about business. Business, at least in this country and perhaps in many places, are run for various reasons. Someone does it for economic value, someone for ego agenda, someone for social service, social sector they do it. So if these multiple revenue sources are followed, it can be good business. In fact, all media owners give content free in the digital space. New York Times have started following freemium model lot of newspapers internationally in, in, in Scandinavian countries are doing it. The basic articles you have free. The more you want deep dive, you have to pay. So the, the four sources of revenue, as I mentioned just now, and if you can do that well, you can do good business. So do you see Indian um, news uh, companies also uh, adopting the freemium model? Uh, no one have done it because no one have confidence. I don't know why. It's beyond me because everyone feels no. First, you develop volume, aggregate more audience. So this whole debate goes on about valuation and value. You say let's get the number. So everyone has number, and uh, since in digital space there is no real estate cost, everyone starts it. But to my mind, it's shortcut because you have to invest in good journalism, good journalists who not only updates, upgrades, adds perspectives, takes stand and be free uh, because audience up to a point can be manipulated but beyond a point can't. So that's why uh, it's ultimately credibility and that's why websites are suffering because they do not know. Again back to advertising, standard banner advertising, it's not going to work. It's not going to, people have to pay for content and people don't mind paying for content. If you look at, while most of the magazines are closing down, Economist is doing well. It's 200 rupees. It's expensive, but its circulation is continuously growing. So people value good content and they'll pay for it. Uh, how are things going to change on the distribution front? See, distribution, again, by format. So I think uh, whether it's a newspaper, radio, television, everyone is a different one. Digital to you know everything through cloud and Wi-Fi. When I talked about distribution here is more of the consumer becoming a purveyor or a conduit for distribution. You look at it how many, at least I personally share not less than 30, 40 news views with my circle. I'm sure if global statistics can be staggering now that itself creates a huge uh, understanding, knowledge of, uh, of content. 
So that is what is going to change the distribution game and that is why when you are a platform like Facebook or Google, they are changing the distribution game. They are bigger than any media company's distribution. So those who are collaborating with them actually are increasing their numbers. So I think increasing the, dis the difference between a media company and a platform company would get blurred. And I think apart from classical distribution models, that should also be adopted as a complementary distribution architecture.